What's up everybody, Pilot83 here. A lot of y'all requested that I do a video of how to set up a flight plan in the PMD G737 on the Xbox console. As y'all know, or maybe you don't know yet, the sim brief option is not available yet on the console. Um, it's supposed to be coming in a update. I'm thinking it's probably going to be when they come out with a tablet, but then we should be able to upload our sim brief flight plans. So I'm actually going to do this in two videos. I'm going to do my next video, which will be the video right for this, on setting up the flight plan realistically with sim brief. In this video, we're going to set up a flight plan using just the tools that we have available for us in the simulator. Now, this will be close to to how you would do it real realistically but some of it is going to be made up but this is a good stepping stone for those who are not used to it to get used to putting in your flight plans manually setting them up so when we do the sim brief video it will make a lot more sense so let's go ahead let's hop into it so first thing we're going to do is guys is just go ahead and pick your airport that you're going to depart from so i'm just going to choose pensacola uh, choose your gate and I'm just making this up as I go. This doesn't really matter. And pick where you're going. So I'm going to do, say, Kettle, which is Atlanta. I did this in a video this week with the ATR showing the same technique. This plane's more extensive, so we're going to be doing a little more. You then go down here. We're going to go from VFR. We can do either low or high altitude airways. All right, set that up. Um, check your SIDs just down there, our arrival, our stars. So we have Gundolf, uh, that is that is good. We can just leave that there. Um, we need to choose a runway. So, ooh. do one here that makes sense. Okay, so we'll do ILS09 left. Now you'll see up here, we have all these waypoints. We're gonna be keying all these in. Okay, so let's go and get in the sim. I'm gonna go ahead and start the plane real fast, get it to the point where we would do this, and uh, I'll show y'all how to put this in so I can get y'all flying this plane and doing some uh, IFR. So here we go. Okay, everybody, I am back, I just, started the plane up if y'all want a tutorial by the way by me on starting the plane i can do one for y'all but uh there are a bunch of great ones out there on youtube just let me know i'll be happy to do one for y'all but okay let's get to this so let's go ahead and set up that flight plan so real quick when you come up here go to our nav log oh wrong button go up here to nav log click on that we're gonna have all our waypoints right here just like i showed you on the atr video we got where we're taking off from where we are going Okay, we're going to key all this in manually. Okay, and we're going to do this the best we can from what we, from the tools we have in the sim. So if we go to FMC, then go to position in it, we need to set the IRS position. So we're going to use our last known position. And when you do this, we're going to see some things happen up here. Click that, go up here, down here, then click here, set IRS. Boom, got that happen there. Okay, that is good. Okay. Now, uh, after that, guys, we can go to uh, menu. I'm sorry, go back to FMC. There we go. Okay. Click on route. Okay. Click on route. And then in route, I was about to jump ahead. <laughs> uh, click on route. We're going to put where we are at. So we are at KPNS. So click on KP and S. It's going to be our origin, our destination, where we are going. We are going to Kila, Alpha, Tango, Lima. Flight number, that's not important for what we're doing in this. We will get one when we do the sim brief video. Still, you can make it up either way. It's not going to change anything in this. 
click that there. Alright, now go to, to departures and arrivals. Go to departure. Okay, so we have no sis. We, we don't have to worry about that. We know we're taking off for runway 26. We'll click that. Go back to departure. Arrivals, we'll go to cattle. Go to arrivals. Okay, so... Gundolf here. We need to put in. So let's go to next page. You'll have a two. That's how we see our stars here. Uh, that's how we know it's a star. It'll have a number after it normally. So we're going to click Gundolf. Okay, and uh, put our runway. So ILS 09 left. Okay, trans. I already know what the trans in for, is for this. But if you didn't, technically you could leave that blank for what we're doing here and it's not going to make a difference. Okay. So, Ryan. Then go to route. Activate. Then execute. Okay. Let's click on legs. Okay, we see all this here. Okay, we need to fill in some some waypoints. Okay, so route next page. Okay, so via is going to be like our stars and our sis and like transition through those would be keyed in there. Um, here where two is where we're going to put in these waypoints. So come back up here. We're going to start with our first waypoint here. And uh, we're going to key all these in manually. So S H Y R E. That is Shire. We're going to click here. We're just going to go down the list. F R D D O. All the way till we get to small, which is for Gandalf. If you mess up on any of these guys, you can just retype the correct one and click it on the spot where it's supposed to go, and it'll go over the other one. So you can fix it. Fog. Okay, so that's right before Gundolf. Go ahead and execute that in there. Go to legs. Okay, we now need to look over our flight plan here. Um, let's go to next page. Got a discontinuity there. Next page. No bypass. Okay. So we have a discontinuity here. I have a hard time saying that word. So this is normally where ATC would give us instructions of what to do next. For this, we don't want that. Um, so we want to uh, get rid of this right here. So if we click on that, then click there, we can move that up. Okay. Execute that. Let's go back over this again. Okay. Now, come up here. Let's go ahead and change our range. Look at our VFR, see if that looks correct for us. These waypoints all the way down. Okay, yeah, that looks correct. Okay. Um, let's go back to this. 
Let's go back to next page. Quit it. Okay. And run away zero nine left. Okay, so we now have those in. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go back to init reference. We need to key in some information here. So zero fuel weight, we could just click here, it'll appear down there, click it again, it'll appear, it'll also give us the total gross weight. Now for reserves, um, I believe earlier when I put it like 50% fuel, I believe it was 7.4. That's a good number you can go by put that in for this. Like I said, when we do sim brief, we will key in all the correct things. Some of this we're going to just kind of make up as we go. So I'm going to make a big difference. Cost index, a good cost index for this plane, guys, is 65. That's a good just standard cost index for this plane. So we just do that. Okay. Um, cruising altitude. So for this, we can make this up. For this, I'm going to put 32,000 feet. Or just something that would feel correct for this flight. There we go. Um, okay, our winds. Now, for this here, guys, um, I always, I'm not flying with live weather. So if I'm doing it this way, like so when we do the sim briefway, I'll show you where you got the information. Well, I'm doing it this way. I normally just make up a heading when I do it this way. And then I just do 15 knots of wind. For what we're doing in this video, this is not going to affect anything, really. We're just going to make the computer happy, so our all pilot functions. Okay, we now need to go to... Our N1. Okay, this page here, guys, we're not going to worry about this. Um, we don't have the tablet yet. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, so here, flaps. As far as I know in this plane, they're always at 5 degrees for takeoff. Center of gravity, you click that, it'll appear down there. Got that there. Okay, so our V1 speed, VR2, or VR speeds, and our V2 for we're going to take off with one engine. We just click here, and they're going to appear for us. Okay, we go ahead and set this here to our V2 speed. Did it say 155? Yeah. Okay, so we got that. And let me see. Um, we need to set our trim. So our trim here is 5.11. Um, so we're going to get this close as possible. This thing is very finicky. So set our elevator trim to that. close enough. Alright, we go set our barometer by pressing B on the keyboard. Um, if you want to set the altimeter by not pressing B, you can come over here and uh, set it uh, over there to our, uh, our left. Okay, so we have that going, so that is good. Um, go back to this. Execute, so active, and we set that, that's good, now we, don't, we don't need to click execute on that, okay, um, back to legs, okay, now uh, we're going to set our heading to our runway direction, we're taking off, which would be uh, 26, so 260. And this is in case you have to click on your autopilot for some reason right away. Oh gosh. Got that. Go ahead and arm your auto throttle. Flight director for your captain on. Flight director for your first officer on. 
We set our cruising altitude. We said 32,000 feet. Okay. Got that. So at this moment, guys, if you don't have it turned on, you want to turn on your yaw damper if you don't already have that on. Uh, make sure you have your emergency lights set. You want to make sure you have your IRS 1 and 2 left and right set to nav. All right. And let me just double check. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, yeah, everything. Oh, yeah, we did miss something. Cabin altitude. So we pressurize our cabin right. We need to set this to our cruise altitude as well. Boom. And there we go. And from that point there, guys, we could take off, uh, get in the air turn on our autopilot, turn on our LNAV, and uh, we will start to follow this flight plan. All right. Hope this video has been helpful, helpful for y'all. Let me know in the comments if it is. As always, guys, I am Pilot83. My next video, we will be going through sim brief and doing this the realistic way of how you do this in real life, and uh, we will go through that. So hopefully this video here will help get you ready for that video. All right, till next time, guys. Enjoy flying this amazing, beautiful plane. Come join the Discord. It's in the description below. Go follow me on Instagram as well. It's my name, Pilot0083. Thank you all, guys, so much for your love and support. Bye. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, see you in the air.